So, yeah, minivan, not so cool. Now, you, sir, what do you drive? An F-150. There you go. Now we both feel like small people. <laughs> uh, is that a big truck? I don't really know anything about trucks. I've just seen the commercial. Yeah, can you, can you haul the space shuttle with that thing? <laughs> no, you need a Toyota for that. Um, <laughs> and now, now, do you use your F-150 for work? No, not at all. Do you haul things in your F-150? Not right now. Well, no, you're here. I'm not stupid. I'm sorry? It's being shipped to Hawaii. It's being shipped to Hawaii. I, well, I hope you're going. <laughs> yeah, where are you going to Hawaii from? Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. It's going to be different in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. Are you happy about going to Hawaii? Yeah. yeah. How long are you going to be there? Three years, maybe. Well, that's commitment to the company. Thanks. <laughs> I think it's nice that you picked the big party night to let them know you're looking around. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel about that, Justin? Yeah, he's a company man. Um, uh, what do you do for Kiwit? A safety manager. There you go. So, so I'll ask again, what do you do? Because <laughs> I, I know nothing about it. I mean, I, you just kind of walk around, careful. <laughs> careful. Well, you know, something happens. I got a first aid kit in the F-150. <laughs> you see it over there? It's in the bubble wrap with a ribbon on it from the freight train. Um, so uh, did you start out as a safety manager? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so what, you, like you go to a job site, I would assume? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, and, and do you like look for dangers? Not really. Well, good for you. Uh, <laughs> I, I can see now why you're looking for another job. You know what's coming. Look at that guy. Uh, a lot of blades, a lot of booze. Not going to work out good. <laughs> what, what would be like a, a, a big safety concern on a job site? Someone walking behind a loader. Behind a loader. Yeah. All right, hold on. You, help me. What's a loader? Because <laughs> I would think that would be true, I think, almost anywhere you go. <laughs> it's a piece of equipment that loads stuff. Well... Well, thank you. Thank you for using the exact words of the question to answer the question. I, uh, what, what kind of things does it, what is your name again? Patrick. Patrick. Uh, what kind of things does it load, Patrick? What kind of thing does a loader load? Dirt. Dirt. Okay, that helps. Uh, so somebody walking behind the loader, you said, or in front of? If they walk behind it. And what would happen if they walk behind it? The operator has restricted vision. Well, what, you guys ever think about hiring people with glasses? You mean he can't see behind them? Well, I'm not an HR professional, nor am I a safety person, but I can tell you this. Here's one little clue. I notice you have your cell phone. You can put it on that picture mode where it looks at you and just kind of hold it out there with a, a GoPro stick. There's nothing back there. Does the loader back up? Yeah, I would think if the load's in the front and the loader's backing up, he's not really good at the job anyway. <laughs> not necessarily. Boy, the standard here is low. <laughs> hey, as long as you get close to getting the job done, we're happy for you. Um, good, and, and, and so that's the biggest safety concern. See, I'm like, for me, I, but I'm a little different. I, my, for me, the safety concern would be things like, you know, no soap in the bathroom. That would bother me. Uh, doesn't bother you? I'm sorry? Hand sanitizer, same thing. Now, you know, Steve, what, what do you do for Kiwit? You're a superintendent. And I like the way you just kind of put your head up, superintendent. So, <laughs> bigger thermos, comfy chair. What do you do as a superintendent? Are you on the job site or are you at the office? Job site. Job site. And what do, you, what do you do when you're there? Depends on the day. <laughs> I think I could work here. I'm not seeing a lot of questions in the interview. Um, <laughs> uh, how many people are you supervising? Are you supervising people? You do. How many people? Six to 12. Wow. That must be exhausting. Uh, are, they, are, they, are, they, are they like always looking for you for direction? Is that the kind of thing it is? Or you're just kind of there making sure they're following the directions? A combination, yeah, all right, very good. And you like your work? 
You're good. That's a good thing to say tonight. And, uh, and like Patrick, who's already bitching about his job. 